everybody it is your boy master fort 27 here it is raining it's starting to rain and we are here in the weather week in pokemon go which is pretty exciting i know it's been a couple of days since we last spoke to each other a couple of days it's probably been a week or so ago actually but we are still alive and kicking and the game has bringing loads of good things but before we go please can you smash a like for this vlog it'd be really cool much appreciated if you did that That'd be absolutely amazing. I'm gonna show you today some of the news that's coming up in the game, where we are now. We've had the big April drop of news. We're gonna work our way through that. I was hoping that we were gonna get loads of the um, rainy cast form on the nearby. However, as the weather hasn't updated, and in true typical Niantic style, we've got no rainy cast form, which let's face it, we were expecting this. And actually the week, the, the forecast is looking pretty dry, with the exception of right now, it's drizzling. We're probably going to miss out on this one, but the normal cast form is out there again, which is all good and well, but we don't really need that one. But that is the rant over. We're going to drop an incense on. We're going to pop on an incense, actually. Incense podcast, a Pokemon Go podcast. Please check that if you haven't done already. We are filming episode seven tonight, and we're really, really looking forward to that one, in all fairness. So let's drop this incense on. I'm going to talk about some of the good stuff as well and hopefully you might get something good on this walk. So first of all, before we go, we are going to talk about the shiny hall because you lot love my shinies. We are now up to shiny 906 on there and we're going to kind of give you a little bit of a, a little bit of where we were before. So you saw the drowsies that we caught on drowsy spotlight hour. We got two of those, which was amazing. Two on the spotlight hour, which is pretty cool. We got shiny thunderous as well. That was the, the one that caused us the most pain. We did get the final one. We got all three of them in the end. So that was amazing. Uh, hard work, but amazing. But now I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about what I'm doing at the moment in the game. We got a shiny Voltorb. You saw that one on the last vlog I put on the channel, Spotlight Hour at Voltorb. We got the shiny blue ball, which was amazing. Really, really happy with that one. Then we had a really freaky one. So this is stuff you've not seen yet so far. I got a shiny Zangoose, which is part, I was actually caught it on the Charged Up event that we had, which was very strange. Tynamo was the new Pokemon release for the Charged Up week. I predicted that one on Incense Podcast. You lot heard that one. I got Jigglypuff a couple of clicks after that one. So it was very crazy. We managed to get ourselves two new shinies on the go there. So you can't come, there weren't new shinies for me, but new shinies. I haven't caught these ones in a while, so that was really, really cool. We then got it, and this was the one. <laughs> I'm gonna share the clip with you on this vlog. I'll have that. I'll put it up on the screen. I'll pause for a little bit and you'll see it. But yes, when we filmed episode six, I managed to incense a shiny during the vlog. And we do a, we do a feature on it. We have to pop it, we pop an incense, we ask everyone to pop an incense on, and we do it when we're recording the vlog. And we did it, and it was the first time. I mean, I've incensed some good stuff before, but the first one actually incensed during the vlog. Or during the podcast, I should say, I'm getting my things confused here. And there it was, a shiny spoink. So I'm gonna play the clip now. Talking about this though, Milo, I hope you don't mind. Can I just, can we all just, everybody, everybody, everybody look at me. Every, oh, oh, just, oh my God. God. Just got <laughs> And now we're back. So yeah, that was the cliff. It was absolutely amazing. Really happy with how we did that one. Then we got this at the end of the charge up event. I managed to get myself a little baby shiny Magnemite, which was really, really cool. Shiny Magnemite, love shiny Magnemite. One of my favorite ones. Didn't need it, but hey, it was good to get it. And then we got shiny Nidoran. Another shiny Nidoran female, which was really, really good. You know, it's another shiny, a nice shiny. Really nice to get one of those in the wild. And that is where we are. So that was shiny 906. But yes, we did get all the shinies of the cloud dudes, as I, as I affectionately call them. We got shiny Landorus. We also got shiny Thundrus. And we also got shiny Tornadus. So they were all pretty good. Tornadus was 96% shiny. So I was really, really happy with that one. So they're done now. They are done. Very four ones are now out in the game. And I'm only raiding one of each because I have not got any want to get any more of them. I am not in that headspace at all. And that goes on to where we are now. So what is going on there? Oh, we've got an egg hatch. Look at that. And AC Doby 16, friendship has increased as well. So we've got a two kilometer egg hatch. We'll quickly crack this one open as part of this edition. And we're going to get ourselves, oh, and that's, I'd love to see it on four. Is that a shiny spoon? No, it's a normal spoon. A little 721 of there. 
which is pretty cool. And actually, it's absolutely rubbish. So hey, it does not matter. So we're gonna put a 12 quarter egg on the incubator. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about the strategy moving forward in Pokemon Go. Because one of the things we've been speaking about, and we've been quite open about it, is the way that the game's going at the moment. It is going into a very strange, a very strange way. We talked about how the pandemic has impacted a lot of things. We talked about how the pandemic in 20, certainly in 2020, the game improved. It, it, there was a lot of quality of life updates which were pretty useful. I spoke about that with the incentives getting more spawns on them. The denser spawn points as well meant if you, like me, I'm a rural player, obviously when I'm going out for my walk um, around work, I, I, I'm sort of doing it in more of a, a sort of a, a city. But um, we were talking about, look at that, Wild Vaporian, that's pretty cool. We love some of these wild spawns. But I think the point we were trying to make was, is they made some great quality of life updates to the game. Fast forward it to 2021, and now the game finds itself in a very, very strange position. We've been talking about this quite a bit, actually, and actually what is going on in there, it's getting very much more excessive pay to play. There seems to be events happening every week. There doesn't really seem to be more now than another Vaporeon. A double Vaporeon, how cool is that? We'll get these, these are all good for the candy, certainly on the Eevees and the Evolutions. But the point being now is you get a day, a day and a bit break, and then you've got another event on. And these events are pretty, not. I don't think they're really well thought through. They seem to be very quick, they seem to be no quality, just quantity. And we talked about that before. It's raining, it is absolutely raining. Those clouds up there are not nice. We need some rainy cast forms, please. Give us some rainy cast forms. But yeah, the quality over the, the quantity over the quality is certainly something that we spoke about. And, and we've been talking about that now for quite a bit. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Are you enjoying how the game's turning at the moment? Is it just a way to get money off people? Is it a real way just to, to rinse everyone dry where we can, or where they can, I should say? And are you actually still enjoying the love of the game? Now, I made a pretty bold statement, and it was, it was something I feel really truthfully about. I don't enjoy the remote raiding aspect anymore. I think it's really, really, it's easy just to keep plowing into it and playing into it. And that's actually where I want to go to now, is how I've changed playing the game. Coopsie, casual Coops. If you haven't checked him out already, and I'm sure you have. If you haven't, go check him out. But he started the conversation. And we were talking about how people are actually changing um, how they wish to play. So Casual Coops went free to play in March. We do give him a bit of grief about that on the podcast. But I've actually been adopting that. So once I got, I think it was a Thunderous, Shiny Thunderous, I ended up just taking that same approach. And I've actually found it really refreshing and actually really, really good for the soul. <laughs> that sounds a bit corny, but I found it really, really good. It's taken a lot of the pressure off. It's made me not play the game as much. And I love the game, by the way. It isn't because I don't love the game. I still love the game. Another Vaporeon, this is mental. Um, the game at the moment is going through a really, really strange period. I'd love to get a shiny Vaporeon in a while. I don't know if that can happen. Um, the screen's a bit slippy as well. So if I keep messing with throws, you'll know what's going on. It's raining, it is absolutely raining. Um, let's put a weather report, actually. Give us some rain, please, Niantic. Just give us some rain. But yeah, um, the point I was getting to is that actually, it, it's in a bit of a strange place at the moment, the game. Let's just report that. Um, now that's not right. That's not right. The weather's not accurate at all. Give me some rain now, please. Right, that is done. I might be I might be checking some of these more than once, but hey, I don't really care. But yeah, the game's in a very, very strange place. It's at that, it's at that tipping point where it's still great to play. I enjoy it. I love hunting those wild spawns. I love shiny hunting, wild shiny hunting. They're great um, to do it. And I'm doing it out here as I talk to you guys as part of this edition. This is going to be a long-winded one, actually, because I'm just going to talk to you guys. It feels like it's been a while since I've been able to do that. But yeah, the point getting is it's strange right now. Underlyingly, there's something wrong with the game. And I think it just feels like it's like a new CEO of Niantic's coming or something. Has something changed? Have we got some more interns that just don't know what they're doing? They never knew what they were doing in the first place. Oh, God, it's hammering it down. It is wet now. Give me some rain. <laughs> Give me some rain. Give me some rain. But yeah, we just seem to be in a real, real strange place. So I've adopted that, adapted that, and whatever you want to call it. 
I've gone free to play. I've been free to play now for the last week and a half, nearly two weeks. And it has been, it has been, it's been refreshing. Um, I'm getting the free coins, I'm saving them for incenses, I'm putting them on when I need them, and I'm just taking this game in a different pace now, which is, which is really cool. So that's it. So let me know how you're doing. Are you enjoying the game still? Are you changing the way you play? Have you noticed that step change since we've got to 2021? It does seem to be a little bit more crazy now. And we're going to get into the good stuff. We're talking about the news now. What is going on in Pokemon Go? Well, what is going on in Pokemon Go? That's a bloody good question. What we do know is that April's Community Day has been announced. April the 11th. And let's get the news up on here. And let's talk about it in some detail. So let's get to the news. So April the 11th. We've got Snivy. Did anyone see that coming? As the screen keeps slipping there. Did anyone see Snivy being the featured Pokemon? Well, it is. Uh, and that is April the 11th on a Sunday. The rain's playing problems with my phone now. <laughs> so definitely 11, 11 to 5 p.m. It is Snivy Community Day, so that's pretty cool. Snivy was released as part of a, I think it was a Univer Week challenge. It is a shiny that's already in the game, but a shiny that a lot of people don't have. So that one's a very different to Charmander. What else is going on? Rayquaza's going to be returning to raids for a limited time. That much we do know. That's March the 27th to Sunday, March the 28th, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. We have got Rayquaza. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's yeah. going to be coming back into Raid Battles, and that's cool. It's a really solid shiny. I like it. It might help you with your dragon badges as well. Those still trying to do Mew, like me. <laughs> oh, it's hammering it down. And April's events are all here. Now, Shadow Zapdos is coming. That's the main one from Giovanni. Shadow Zapdos. That's okay. April Breakthrough is going to be male frillish. Female frillish is actually in the wild at the moment. Male one you can only get through Go Battle League which is slightly limited, but there, if you don't like your GBL, you've got a chance to get it now in the research battle. They've devalued something which some people will be pleased they worked hard to get. They find a way of doing that, doing the antic. We're going to skirt over all this though. We're going to skirt over all this. There's going to be another Mega Raid boss announced. Mega Manectric is obviously the most recent one that's been released in the game, a big glass cannon, but it is still useful. So it's interesting, it's the most powerful non-shadow uh, type in the game that's impressive that is impressive so we've got the bit about mega raids we're not going to talk about all those um, raid hours spotlight hours here we go spotlight hours so tuesday april the 6th Boneri, tuesday april the 13th Mankey, tuesday april the 20th grime and tuesday the 27th finian there's always a, a rubbish one at the end but it is twice the xp so that one kind of makes up here for it there community day we talked about that with snivy we're going to have a Team Go Rocket Time research from 1st April the 1st to 1st April the 8th. So that helps you get to Battle Giovanni for that Shadow Zapdos encounter. Spring events coming in there. We're going to get the Flower Crowns back on the usual suspects. Chanty Blissey Happeny. Yeah, Baneri, I'm sure, will be in there. So yeah, look out for that one. Now, Rivals Week is interesting. Tuesday, April the 13th to Sunday, April the 18th. There'll be some more Pokemon making their debuts in the game. So that could be quite exciting. Then we've got Sustainability Week. See what I mean? Another event. Another event. Tuesday April the 20th to Sunday April the 25th. Um, sustainability themes is to do with the wildlife, the planet and all that malarkey. And it's very sensible stuff. Obviously, Grime with Trubbish are more in the wild. Then Friendship Day on the 24th of April with a brand new event. And then April, more bundles and all that. So the game, there's too much going on. There is too much going on in the game. If that doesn't confirm it, I don't know what will. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm struggling with it all, if I'm honest with you. Going through to play has been, it's been just so good. But then the game, you know, April, when you look at it on the surface, actually isn't that great. But let me know what you think. What do you think about April? Have you enjoyed March? Have you been playing as hard? Or have you just generally been chilling out? Oh God, the rain is hammering it down. I'm going to get absolutely drenched on this walk as we're talking to you guys. And I'm getting absolutely hammered by the rain. <laughs> not, not, <laughs> whew. God, we think about the audience here. So yeah, that is everything going on Pokemon Go. So what do you think about it? I'm buzzing for Snivy Con Day. Snivy Con Day will be good. Um, you know, I was a bit wishful thinking we might get Spiel. It's a little bit later on in the year now for an ice type to get a Con Day. Certainly, it's winter spring now. It would have been quite nice though. But hey, you can't you can't rule out what Niantic think about. Anything is possible 
in the world of Niantic. And I'll tell you what, it's getting that whisper hit is, is near and impossible. Oh my days! The heavens are opening up! This is why you watch the channel. This is why you watch the channel. But thank you everyone for watching the channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you everyone who's been subscribing to us on the channel and also those who've been listening to Incense, a Pokemon Go podcast with me, Pokemon UK, the trainer club, Ian Waterfall and Casual Coops. We enjoy doing it. We're going to be recording again tonight. Please check that out on all good podcast platforms if you haven't done already. I am going to let you lot go because I'm getting absolutely drenched and the hope of finding a rainy cast form right now is not looking very good. So I've got to catch some psychic dragon type and flying Pokemon. I've got to earn some more hearts to my buddy on this next stage of weather week. That will give us some encounters, I should say. We're going to do this research as well. It's a field research, a special one. Oh, it's a rainy cast form, but it's not a shiny one. That would have been amazing actually getting that there. But yeah, they are available by catching it's seven water type. Pokemon, and there's a lot of them around when it rains anyway. Not at the moment. Oh, catch some Pokemon. Hold on, that wasn't that one. Hold on, hold on. Stay here. Stay here. <laughs> you might get a surprise here. Let's just see what this one is. I thought that was the rainy cast form. I'm getting drenched here. Let's try it now. This is the seven water type. This should be... Ah, a time pole. Absolutely rubbish. Forgot about them. It's been a while since we saw one of you. Right, well, I'm going to leave that on B. I am Massful27. Thank you for checking out this extended edition. It feels like it's needed to be done. We are still at level 46. We're trying to get the XP to level 47. We've got a long way to go on that one. But we got our first Pokemon powered up to level 50. For me, that was pretty impressive. That was pretty impressive. That was because of the Con Day. So I think Snavy... Oh, it's got a bit watery there. Hold on. Whoa, that's psychedelic, isn't it? That's better. How weird was that? Water on the lens cap. Amateur vlogging at its finest. Right, well, I'm going to let you lot go. Thank you for checking this one out. Check out Incense Pokemon Go podcast. Enjoy what you've got left of March. Enjoy what we've got coming up in April. And I will see you guys soon when it's not so wet. See you later, gang. <laughs>